met a half a year ago, approximately in 2015. Okay. It's now 2016, here we are in Barcelona. What has all been changing in the company? Yeah, it doesn't look like six months, it looks like more <laughs> six years. Uh, it's been really amazing. I've been in the service provider space for years. Uh, we've been able to sign five national deployments in that amount of time. The sales cycle, the overall time we need to convince an operator to go for a national deployment is amazingly short. You know, six months sales cycle in the telecom space is uh, unbelievable. Uh, so the actual reach of LoRa on uh, public networks is now throughout France, the, the Benelux, uh, Holland, Switzerland, going very soon into other countries, uh, Taiwan and so on. Um, if we keep this momentum, uh, the dream of uh, global IoT is going to become true in uh, less than two years. Uh, so that's, that's quite amazing. And if you're talking about the dream of IoT, what is your dream? So the rim of IoT is obviously everything connected. Yeah. Uh, one thing is connectivity. I think we're addressing this uh, quite quickly. Uh, it's becoming real. Uh, we believe we can do it. The next challenge is more on the commercial side. Once you get a uh, zillion of objects, you saw already the number of objects that you can touch compared to six months ago. It's a it's very, very, uh, very large number. Uh, there are issues associated with this in the business model of operators. Uh, you, you need to fully automate the way you source objects, you deploy them, you activate them in the network. So currently, Actility is very, very busy on addressing this, securing uh, technical relationships with all the device makers to make sure that from the customer click, I want that object, the delivery of the object, the activation of it in the network becomes something that's totally transparent and not, not creating a difficult user experience. So that's the uh, thing that dream. we need to solve <laughs> uh, as we speak. And, um, well, you're here now in Barcelona on this uh, mobile congress. What's your impression? For the first time in, in my career, I, I get the experience of, of pool to that degree. You know, most technology companies, especially in the startup, uh, you are more in push mode. You are bringing a new technology and you need to convince people of why it's useful. Uh, in, in this case, people are literally lining up in front of the booth to come with use cases, explain why they need connectivity in this use case. Uh, it's, it's this pull uh, effect that I've never seen before uh, and, and really it's making life a lot easier in terms of pitching what you have to sell. Uh, it's also making life more difficult in terms that uh, you need to deliver quickly, you need to scale, but that's a nice problem to have. If we could look into the future, where do you think we are in one year from now on? Any, any technology, especially in the networking, you get waves. So the wave one is to create the network. Obviously, without the network, you cannot have use cases that are really deployed on a wide scale. So I think next year, we'll have passed this milestone of having networks that are not in process of being deployed, they are there. And the challenge for next year is to see uh, as many objects, actually many more, but with the customer standing next to them and explaining what, what, what they are doing with the object. So it's a process of, I think, three to four years, build the network, then have the operator standing next to the base station explaining the coverage. We are there now. Uh, we have the object. Next year, we should have the customer next to the object explaining why they have deployed so many thousands and why it's useful for them. You are very uh, uh, connected to the LoRa Alliance. Let's, let's use the word connection. How is that uh, functioning for you? We are a small company with a very, very big uh, you know, dream, if you want, to, to, to connect uh, many, many countries. So we need big partners. And uh, there are big companies going to the Laura Islands. In the biggest announcements uh, this week, uh, you saw the one of uh, Cisco. We signed a global partnership with Cisco where our technology is going into the products of the company that has the biggest sales force worldwide in the telecom space. So that's obviously making uh, the life of uh, salespeople much easier. Uh, it also tells a lot on the hybrid nature of LoRa that can go into the enterprise and will go in the enterprise in a very big way. The second big announcement is the one that we made with Inmarsat. Uh, the combination of global satellite coverage with local LoRa coverage uh, for very low power and, and low price objects can turn the dream of end-to-end -end tracking everywhere true. Uh, you can now have a container that uh, gets shipped from a port in China, covered by the local fixed LoRa network in China, covered on the ship all the way to Rotterdam, 
and then hand over to the KPN network in, in Rotterdam that has a roaming agreement. So that, that thing that was a dream a year ago, it's now becoming real. And it also tells a lot on the very different nature of LoRa. This use case is something that clearly you cannot deliver with a cellular network. There is no coverage cellular network in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, if you talk about smart agriculture, where there is a cow, usually there is no 4G network. <laughs> and still there is a use case. So LoRa has this very nice property that if there is no network, you just take your base station, it's very cheap, you deploy your own base station and you create your own coverage. So uh, I think that's really telling a lot about the very unique nature of LoRa that's a sort of hybrid between private and public networks and seamlessly gluing the two together.